Welcome to the Dinosaur Review for Kids podcast. A show all about reviewing dinosaurs on a scale of 1 to 10 fossils before only the elite terrible lizards make it into the prehistoric cage match. This program is presented by the Stomp Tromp Roar Company and can be heard within all the rock layers across the planet. Grab your dinosaurs and your official scorecard because it's now time to dig for dinosaurs. Here's your Mesozoic host, Dinosaur Ranger Anthony. Welcome back, all my prehistoric listeners. Dinosaur Ranger Anthony has returned to the Dinosaur Review for Kids podcast. I'm so excited to be back in the Science Lab studios and recording another roaring podcast for all of you. Now, today's species might have something to do with Easter eggs. I mean dinosaur eggs. Nonetheless, the Easter holiday is coming up this weekend. So happy Easter for any of my listeners that might celebrate this holy holiday. Now, let's skip the dinopreneur news this week and talk about my fantastic vacation. You might have noticed I didn't upload a new podcast last week, and that's because I was in Los Angeles, California last Monday, April 4th through uh, Friday, April 8th. My family had a fantastic time. Uh, It was just incredible, you guys. I really think it was one of my all-time favorite vacations. So, during our vacation, we went to the Natural History. Museum of Los Angeles County. This place was awesome. I highly recommend it. The Dinosaur Hall was incredible. We also went to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Museum, the Aquarium of the Pacific, the La Brea Tar Pits. We've seen the Richard Nixon Presidential Museum. We went down to the Fisherman's Wharf down in San Clemente. Shout out to you, Sully. And we also went to Universal Studios. Now, Universal, you know I had to go right on the Jurassic Park ride, the Jurassic World water ride. Uh, I really thought the Harry Potter uh, Harry Potter world was very cool, but the park as a whole didn't. Uh, it kind of let me down a little bit. It wasn't. Uh, a lot of the rides were more of a virtual ride. Now, nonetheless, uh, it was still really cool to ride on the Jurassic World water ride. It was probably one of my favorite rides of my entire vacation. And we also, of course, visited Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. For anyone who hasn't been to Disneyland, it is truly the happiest place on earth. And seeing my kids smile and light up all throughout the park made my herbivore-like heart just melt like a rock in hot lava. We all had a definitely had the time of our lives. Now, a quick mention, my next Patreon Club lesson is Sunday, April 24th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and this lesson is all about nocturnal dinosaurs, or the dinosaur kingdom of the night. So join the club to take part in this virtual lesson. Now, one special shout out to my junior dinosaur ranger, Lincoln. I met Lincoln, you guys, during 2020, during COVID. His family had booked me for a curbside pass package that I was doing back then. After that, Lincoln started watching my virtual lessons when I started going on Facebook Live in February of 2021. And in May of 2021, uh, Lincoln was one of the first kids to join my Patreon club. Now, yesterday, I went and visited him and all his classmates, and I did a classroom prehistoric lesson for all of his friends. I had a blast, especially when we all sang happy birthday to you, Lincoln. So, have a very happy Happy birthday this Saturday, Lincoln, and thank you to your parents for having me out at your school. I just had a tremendous time. Now let's go ahead and grab our scorecards, our Easter baskets. It's time to review our next species, the Egg Thief. So let me go ahead and pull up in my scorecard here for you guys, which you can also print off for free at my website, stompchomproar.com. Click on that Science Lab tab and you'll see the post about the Dinosaur Review for Kids. And you can print off this scorecard for free so you can do your own dinosaur review or maybe you can follow along with me. So today we're talking about the oviraptor. The oviraptor means the egg thief. But is it really an egg thief? Is it hiding Easter eggs? Does it eat eggs? 
I don't know. Let's find out a little bit more. So you guys, the OV Raptor, it's dinosaur order. It's a Cerician dinosaur, which means it's lizard hipped. And then it falls into that theropod family, which are the bipedal carnivores. Then it can fall into the OV Raptorid and the Conco Raptor family. This is no Dromaeosaur or no, uh, no Ornithomimid, as commonly at first they thought it might have been. So again, Cerician theropod. Oviraptorid. It is not a Dromaeosaurid or an Ornithomimid. Now, how big was this dinosaur? Its length, its height, its weight. Are Oviraptors coming in about six to eight feet long from its parrot-like beak all the way back to that long tail that might have been sported in feathers? Now, it's up to four feet high, and it can weigh up to about 75 pounds, maybe get up to 100 pounds. So, for our metric, it's about 1.8 to 2.5 meters long and about 1.5 meters high. So it is still a pretty small theropod-like dinosaur. Nothing compared to any of those large giants like T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus. It is quite small, only about four feet high, kind of around uh, with some of the uh, dromaeosaurs like Velociraptor or other ornithomimids. But it is not a dromaeosaurid and it is not an ornithomimid. It is an oviraptorid. So this, how fast was oviraptor? It is a very quick dinosaur. It's a very fast-like. It's kind of like an ostrich-like dinosaur, and it could be getting up to speeds to about maybe 43 miles per hour. Now, what weapons or defense or other characteristics did the OV Raptor have? Now, this is a very slender, bird-like dinosaur, very lightly built, has those hollow bones. It has a long tail, probably like I mentioned, sported in come, uh, some kind of feathers. They've got a parrot-like head with a toothless beak, but very powerful jaws for eating all kinds of things in their environments. They have that S-shaped neck like we see on very many of uh, like the Velociraptor. Uh, they've got short strong arms. They've got curved claws on three on their three fingers and toes. Uh, some of them can be about three inches long or eight centimeters. They have that small head crest on their snout you guys that we see uh, in a lot of the pictures and toys. Now this was probably used a little bit more for display within the pack or maybe in the mating system in order to get a girlfriend and maybe have more babies that would support the species of the oviraptor. Uh, maybe they had different colors on it so they could tell each other uh, uh, t apart from each other maybe in the flock or the pack that they're living in. They had a very large brain, so they're one of the more smarter uh, species of dinosaurs. We talked a little bit about feathers. They probably are sporting in feathers on their limbs. Their arms, their legs, their tail is going to have all kinds of feathers on them, maybe different browns, grays, other things that could help them blend in a little bit more into the environment. They were probably in some kind of flock or pack system, uh, but they're no raptor. Even though their name says oviraptor, they're not a true raptor. They don't have the sickle-like killing claw on their second toe. So they're no Dromaeosaura, no Velociraptor, uh, Utah Raptor, Dakota Raptor, uh, Deinonychus. Uh, you know, they're kind of cousins because they're all theropods, but oviraptor isn't a true raptor. It is an oviraptorid. Uh, so this is probably an omnivore type dinosaur. It's eating a little bit of both plants and meat, maybe some eggs, uh, other dinosaur eggs, plants, small lizards, mollusks, uh, and cretace uh, crustaceans. So uh, they're eating a little bit of everything, and that's an omnivore eating both plants and and meat. Uh, so uh, when did this dinosaur live and how long did the oviraptor uh, live during the Mesozoic era? Well, oviraptor fossils are coming in about 88 to 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It's found in Mongolia over in Asia in the Gobi Desert, and it was first found in 1923, named in 1924 by Henry F. Osborne. And uh, in 1924, you guys, the fossils were first found on like a protoceratops nest that they believed. So first they named it 
egg thief because they thought it was stealing the eggs of the protoceratops. Uh, but they found out, you guys, that later on as they started finding more fossils of Oviraptor, it was actually protecting its own nest. So maybe it was at its own nest uh, when they originally found it. So it's not so much the egg thief. Yes, they probably maybe would have ate some uh, other dinosaur eggs or other animal eggs to keep themselves fed, uh, but they're not the egg thieves uh, that we originally thought they were back in 1923. So a quick recap, you guys, our Oviraptor is around 6 to 8 feet long, up to 4 feet high, up to maybe 75, 100 pounds, a very small, lightweight theropod dinosaur, can run very fast, it's very bird-like, has those slender-like legs, could be getting up to about 43 miles per hour, that very long tail, parrot-like head, toothless beak, powerful jaws for breaking down all that those things they're eating. Uh, short, strong arms. They do have curved claws on their three fingers and toes, but they have, and then they have that small head crest on their snout, probably more for display within their pack or their mating system. Very large brain, so they are a smart dinosaur covered in feathers and probably an omnivore. And the Omniraptor lived during the late Cretaceous period. So where does this... Uh, and it's not a dromaeosaur, it's not a true raptor, they don't have the killing claw. Uh, they're around the size of maybe some of the velociraptors uh, on the higher side, but they don't have the killing claw. Uh, so they're not a true uh, raptor. They're not a true raptor. So where do I put the oviraptor on our official fossil scale, you guys? This is getting a lot harder as we're going more deeper into so many different species. Uh, so I'm going to give the oviraptor a 3 point six 3.6 for our oviraptor. Uh, it might be a little bit uh, larger than some of the velociraptors. Uh, a little probably quicker. Doesn't have the killing claw. Uh, just you know, not as not as cool, not as mean as those Velociraptors. The Velociraptor has all those serrated teeth uh, and the killing claw. This guy has a toothless beak, a parrot-like head, and doesn't have those sickle-like killing claw on its second toe. So 3.6, you guys, for our OV Raptor today. So thank you guys so much for tuning back in to the Dinosaur Review for Kids podcast. Keep your eggs hidden from the OV Raptor. The Easter Bunny has to hide them in just a few days. But you guys, a quick joke before I go. Why shouldn't you tell a dinosaur egg a good joke? Why shouldn't you tell a dinosaur egg a good joke? Well, it might crack up! <laughs> well, you guys, we only have two species left to review before our next prehistoric cage match episode. Who will enter the arena next? You guys, my name is Dinosaur Ranger Anthony. I'm so happy to be back from my vacation. We had tons of fun. I would go back to California tomorrow. But until next time, you guys, as always, keep digging for dinosaurs. We'll see you guys later. Ah!